Hi, it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I want to show you the Archie's Colouring Book. So this was a sentimental purchase for me because I loved Archie comic books when I was a kid. So as you can see, up against a Design Originals, which is a four size colouring book, you can see that this is slightly smaller, but still the same sort of length. So slightly smaller images, more of your old-fashioned comic book size. So glossy cover on the front there, featuring of course Archie, Veronica and Betty. And on the inside cover we've got Betty and Veronica there. And you could colour those in with gel pens if you wished. And on the back the same repeat pattern. We've got this introduction here, obviously, to the colouring book and all of the acknowledgements and copyright information. And then we've got the double pages that form the book. Now they've got a colour my Archie hashtag, so you can colour it in and put it on Insta and join in the colouring fun. It's it's a a fun book. It's not a high end art book by any means, but it's a great fun book. The thing that I'm a little disappointed with is the paper. It's quite thin, so sort of Archie sort of always seems to me like it would be good coloured in markers. And uh, with this it's really going to stop through. It's like a, a trade stock or a creative haven style paper. It's quite thin and if you're using your pencils I would pop a piece of paper in between to avoid any indentations on there. Or if you really did want to use markers, you know, it's not that expensive, this book, so you could probably buy another one. But I kind of had my heart set on using markers, just because I imagine comic books so bright and shiny. Although, you know, in the olden days, these Archie comics, they were actually really quite a dull print, you know, for memory have to dig some out of the attic. So we've got all our faves in here and the images do run up there against the spine. Some of the images are more pattern based and some you know you could really imagine in the book. What I do like is that each individual illustrator has signed so if you like a person's particular style you can follow them. Now I'm not sure if that signature is on every illustration So this one is by two people. That's a great picture of Veronica. And a great picture of Jughead too. That one's over there in the corner. You got these ones that come up right to the spine. At least they've done that black part of the ball, but it's gonna be hard to color in there because it really is quite tight. The great thing about these sorts of books is that not only are they fun and sentimental and reminiscent of your childhood, but also you can sort of colour them quite quickly if you just wanted a small project. I really like these ones that look like covers from the comic books. So we've got Sabrina and her lovely unicorn. And some even have the comic bubble. But some of these have got small images like these cute little fairies. And I forgot what I was going to say earlier, but what I was going to say was the great thing about them is that the line art is really black and really crisp and easy to see. So if you have a minor visual impairment, it's going to be so much easier to colour in these books. And look how cute they were when they were kids. Now, of course, there's a lot of solid black in them as well, but that's what makes them perfect for a quick colouring project too. I love these gorgeous. Look at all the cute little bears. I love these pin-up style pictures, they're so cute. We've got all our little postcards. I 
And these ones are so great with the traditional comic bubble. Feel like they're reading one from the past. I've got a completely different style here. It's got more of a hand-drawn scratchy feel to it. It'd look great coloured in. Look at this little bunny rabbit. And now we've got our traditional comic book format. So it's got a bit of everything, the, the covers, the comic book format, the full pages. So it's a lot of fun. That one's like flash tattoo art. It's just a shame that some of them are really close to the spine. So as you would expect when you've got different illustrators, there's a different look and feel throughout the book. But it really, you know, it is very black, crisp, easy to see. Just some have more pattern than others, some are more black. That's some great illustrations in here. I've got a very small pennant flag there. and kittens and there we have it we're at the end so a great fun coloring book especially great for fans of the Archie comic book series the links as always are below the video until next time happy coloring